But first, a 500,000 square foot factory is just opened in Weirton to prove once again that West Virginia is an energy trendsetter. Thanks for joining us for 7 News at 5. I'm Bailey Martin. And I'm Michelle Chavez. Business and political leaders gathered as Form Energy finished construction on its iron air battery plant, a facility that went from groundbreaking to completion in about 15 months. Governor Jeff Justice joined State Senator Ryan Weld and company leaders. As the factory starts up the new equipment, 245 employees have begun working work uh, work have begun work building the batteries, which leaders say will be used as renewable energy in places where wind and sun are unavailable. The company says they plan to add 500 more employees in the next four years. They say their goal is to promote energy security. What we call the production trial phase, uh -huh. uh, the very last steps of that and we'll start to deliver to customers at the end of this year. The iron oxide battery is a tremendous asset for the grid. It's gonna make our ability to decarbonize and change our customers' energy footprints faster than we otherwise would with regular wave batteries. Here's a look back at the timeline for Form Factory One. Governor Jim Justice announced the plan at the end of 20, the plant at the end of 2022 before construction began in May of 2023. The state provided about $290 million for construction and requires that Form Energy meet certain sales goals. Coming up at 6, they'll explain the impact they plan to make with these football field-sized batteries. Another story we're following.